Finally, one more thought. In a world where every economic data point matters, a collection of economic data offering some hope for our supply chains. The pandemic disrupted the flow of goods across the globe, leading to shortages of computer chips, months-long waits for furniture delivery, and the mysterious scarcity of essentials like toilet paper. I would also say that almost all of us have underestimated the dramatic impact of this outbreak. I mean, if you would have asked most people eight or nine months ago if you would ever see the kind of impact that we're you know, seeing around the world right now, few would have gotten it right. But an S&P Global Supply Chain Volatility Index attracts demand conditions, transport costs, inventories, and backlogs. It shows that after more than three years, supply chains are actually back to some semblance of normality. In fact, the index suggests suppliers around the world now have the greatest level of spare capacity since the height of the COVID pandemic. Other barometers of supply chain pain, including from the New York Fed, are showing significant contraction. That's a good thing. U.S. shipments of empty corrugated boxes down 11% from a year earlier. And data this week from Fredos, it shows that the price to move a 40-foot container across the ocean from China to California is roughly a tenth of what it cost just a year ago. China is America's factory. I'll leave the politics and policy to the experts, like Secretary Blinken. But on the ground, business to business, these two trading partners are inextricably linked and count on each other for quite a bit. But the tide it may have turned a bit too late for Instant Pot. The modern spin on the pressure cooker was all the rage at the onset of the pandemic, but its popularity ultimately stretched wait times for customers and drove up the cost of goods for the company as well. A spiral of disruption of which the company never managed to break free. The parent company of Instant Pot, it filed for bankruptcy protection this month, citing the high costs of keeping its supply chain running. If you manage to get your hands on one of them over the pandemic, well, consider yourself lucky.